Welcome to this uh, new tutorial. Well, it's more of a tip sort of thing. Today we're going to talk about the hypernerbs, which can be a pain in the ass to work with. So, yeah. So, what the hypernerbs does is, like, it tries to smooth out the object itself. It uh, has some parameters here, subdivision editor, that's how you see it in the viewport here. The higher you set this to the more laggier it will get, especially with multiply object. And then with the subdivision renderer. The higher you put this to a smoother, it should look, I thought, in the renderer itself. So, shift R. Well, shift R is to uh, render it quickly to the picture viewer, by the way. Alright, so let me put this back. So we have this cube, but what if, if we want to be this edge, what if we didn't want this edge to be smoothed out? Well, it's very easy. We make it edible. Go to the lines mode. I'm going to the top view by uh, hitting the middle mouse button. Right click in the viewport, knife, select about the middle here, hold down shift to create a perfect straight line, release it and it made it at the bottom for some reason. Interesting. But yeah, right now you have we have this shape. So this does is actually really easy because the hypernerbs they try to smooth everything out depending on how much polygons there are. So the more the more polygons there are, the more smooth tries to smooth them out. But yeah, if we have uh, too many polygons, it will look something like this. Uh, <laughs> Wow, that feels uh, hard. As you can see, it doesn't smooth out anything because the hypernerbs can't smooth out anything. Because if we zoom in, these are like really small polygons, so he can't actually smooth them out really good. Let me hide it. Uh, actually, it does smooth it out a little bit. As you can see, you get some sharp edges, but I wouldn't recommend it since it slows down everything, the whole work process. So it's just a no. So you can better use uh, this way. Uh, let me go back real quick. So, yeah. So we want this edge to be perfect. So. Yeah, that isn't perfect. Uh, let me think, this is the right side. Yeah, we need the right side, I think. Oh no! It's created an edge all around. So we get something really weird looking. But yeah. So that's this is actually how the hypernerbs work. They can easily uh like what if we for example had a low polygon object and we were to add the hypernerbs on it then uh we can add extra polygons by using the knife tool to make the high polygon model with just one simple thing the hypernerbs. So that was it for this tutorial. I will be talking uh, more about this tab here. And I'll see you guys next time.